shall it be time for a review. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. So this game is called 4, but actually it's number 6 in the series behind Assassin's Creed 1, 2, Brotherhood, Revelations, 3, and now Black Flag, which is number 4. I know, mindfuck. And it features Welsh assassin Edward Kenway, Welsh rogue sailing the Caribbean Sea looking for wealth and gold. He basically stumbles across an assassin, he's a turncoat assassin, kills him, nicks his clothes, takes his gold and embarks on an adventure. I shit you not, that's how fast it happens. He even has eagle vision and can do most of the assassin stuff straight away. As you can probably tell, I'm a little disappointed with this game. Yeah, it looks great and yeah, it plays exactly the same as the other games in the franchise, but that's a bad thing really. We have the same copy and paste missions as before. Follow this target, eavesdrop on that target, kill this target. I understand that this is Assassin's Creed and it is kind of the point, but really the gameplay hasn't changed that much in the past four or five games. The only real change is the naval aspect in this game. However, the naval side of things was something which did feature in Assassin's Creed 3 in like one, maybe two missions. About 60% of the game is basically you in the jackdaw, sailing in the Caribbean Sea, looking for enemy ships, destroying enemy ships, taking their metal, taking their cloth, upgrading the jackdaw, doing the same thing again. Rinse and repeat, copy and paste. I will say though that the music is once again fantastic in this Assassin's Creed game. It's something Ubisoft are very good at, capturing the mood, capturing the right ambience of the settings that they're in, like Nassau and Kingston. These kind of places come to life with the music that they bring into these games. And speaking of the music as well, I do like the incorporation of the sea shanties. Basically these little collectible things you can get on these different places. When you collect them, it unlocks a new pirate song which your crew can sing while you're sailing. It's quite good, quite a diverse selection of songs as well for them to pick through. Finally, I'll talk about the story. Pirate story was quite interesting, though it wasn't quite as good as Ezio's story in the previous Assassin's Creed games. I did, however, like the portrayal of Blackbeard. He was a total badass in this game. However, the modern day story is probably the worst one yet. You're basically playing an upstergo employee you're playing in first person mode and you're running around the offices looking to do jobs for different people. Not really that interesting and kind of boring. You're basically hacking computers, downloading software, this and that. However, you do come across one piece of information to do with the previous game and to do with Desmond Miles. You do find out what happened to Desmond after Assassin's Creed 3, but it didn't quite do enough justice for Desmond as a character. I thought they could have done a lot more to close his story off. Overall, I give this game the rating of... <laughs> sale value. It's not worth full price and it is in fact one of the weaker installments in the franchise. I just hope that Assassin's Creed Unity does much better. What do you think guys? Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, I've been Dragonheart reviewing Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Hope you've enjoyed this review. Until next time, goodbye.